Fine. Good afternoon to you all, students. Hi, students. How are you? I hope you all are fine and you all are doing well. I hope by God's grace you all are safe. So pray to God daily for your health, for your parents, studies, and everything. Okay, students. So warm greetings to you all. So welcome to our today's online class, students. So now we are studying about chapter three, isn't it? So what's the title of your third chapter? Computer organization. So before I am going to start about today's portion, so just recall what are things we have studied in the last class, and also what are the homeworks I said to write in the last class. So students, before that I am asking, have you all completed yesterday homeworks? Have you all completed? So two questions I asked you to write in your notebook. Two differentiation. Difference between ROM and PROM. The difference between P ROM and E E P ROM. So have you all written? So please write what are the homeworks I said daily. So please you need to write. Okay. So what are things you have studied in the last class? Just recall, students. So last class you have studied one very very important five mark question, isn't it? So what's the important five mark question? ROM and types of ROM. Okay. So, that's very very important five mark question. Have you all studied that five mark question? So tomorrow I have interactive session. So tomorrow I lost this question in that session. So once you are coming for that interactive session, please study and come. We can revise if you have doubt means please ask to me. So tomorrow you need to study and see this wrong question. Understood? Okay. So so today you are going to study about secondary storage devices. Okay. So yesterday we have studied storage device. So not only yesterday, before the day also we have studied about we are studying about one storage device. So what's the use of storage device? Storage device is mainly used to store maybe a data or video or files or anything, isn't it? Okay. So secondary. So what's the difference between primary and secondary? So primary means always you will see as first. Secondary means second, isn't it? So Second already primary memory. So memory is divided into two types. What are they? Primary memory as well as secondary memory. Okay. So primary memory you have studied. What are the primary memories you have studied? RAM, ROM, the types are from PROM, EPROM, EEPROM, etc. etc. Isn't it? So to store the data permanently. So you have studied lot of in RAM you can you cannot able to store the data permanently it's a temporary device isn't it so that's one disadvantage in ROM P ROM that and all only limited or much or limited amount of data only you can able to store isn't it so to overcome that to support you to the primary memory you are using a secondary storage device okay so to support, to give support to the primary memory, you are using what? Secondary storage device. Okay. So why you are using secondary storage device mean to store the data permanently. That's the first point. Okay. So what are the data you are storing or what are the things you are using as a secondary storage? In that secondary storage, you can be able to store the data permanently. Understood? So for that only you are using secondary storage. So if you take a mobile phone, so you are know about mobile memory isn't it so mobile also two types of memories are there what are they phone storage as well as sd card isn't it so phone storage only limited memory is there means for example i'm telling for example phone memory only 8 gb is there so it's not enough for storing all the files of your mobile phone so what you will do you will add one supportive memory to the along with that phone storage so what supportive memory you will add a memory card isn't it so memory card memory capacity also varies from 4 gb 5 6 gb sorry 4 gb 8 gb 32 gb 62 30, like this 120 isn't it so how much you need based on that support you will you will add along with phone storing same way only computer also you are going to add one some secondary storage device so this secondary storage device will give support to the primary story okay so in secondary storage what are things you are store, storing so that it will be a permanent thing okay so so we can say it's a permanent storage device means we can say it's a non-volatile 
okay second storage means we can say which is called what non volatile okay so secondary storage is otherwise called dash backup storage important one more question see the last line see the last line secondary storage is otherwise called as dash what backup storage so what's the name of a secondary storage what's the name of secondary storage backup storage okay so secondary storage device among that first one is hard disk okay so see this a picture of the hard disk have you seen it below there i have shown that picture of hard disk have you seen it okay that's a diagram a picture of hard disk okay so so sometimes they will not separately they will not define hard disk or define pen drive define flash drive okay so you should study all the headings three three points so each headings you need to study at least three three points okay so so what's the first point mean so it is a magnetic disk so that disk see the picture see the first picture have you seen at a round or a circle like structure is yes. so that disk is made up of what just a magnet or magnetic disk so in the hard disk you can able to store the data permanently okay in the hard disk you can able to store the data permanently okay so so in a computer you can able to use more number of hard disk not only a one you can able to use two or three hard disk in a computer okay so we can so the hard disk is arranged as a stacked arrangement so what do you mean by stacked so in a library we have we used to say you no know, so the books are arranged in a stacks isn't it so likewise a hard disk also it is arranged as a stack that is a stack arrangement of disk okay so how this uh, the all this hard disk are access mean have you seen at the center of the circle you might have seen a small coin like structure so that portion only we are calling as a head have you seen so at the circle at the center portion a cone a center one coin like structure is there first picture so that is we can call as a what head so the hard disk is attached to the stack by means of the head okay so the hard disk is maybe a single side disk or double side disk okay three points you are studying hard disk what are they hard disk is a what type of disk magnetic disk okay so in this hard disk you can able to store the data permanently okay so here in the hard disk called the so the hard disk in a computer you can able to use more than one hard disk so the hard disk is a how it will arrange is a stacked arrangement of disk how it will access by means of a head okay so the hard disk may be a single headed or double headed okay understood so next one is compact disk okay so compact disk is nothing but cd short form we can say as cd so you all know about cd isn't it so you are familiar by using the cd isn't it so see the definition so cd first point cd is made up of 1.2 mm thick that's a very very important one more question okay so cd is made up of and also it's important two mark as well as three mark question okay important two mark as well as three mark question so so cd is made up of how much thickness 1.2 mm thickness okay so cd is made up of how much thickness 1.2 mm that is very thin by so already you know no you have seen the cd so if you are seeing the same means it's a very very thin structure isn't it so its thickness is 1.2 mm okay so it's made up of polycarbonate plastic metal okay cd is made up of which kind of metal polycarbonate plastic metal this and all one more question okay so cd is made up of uh, uh, how many how much thickness 1.2 mm thickness and is made up of what polycarbonate plastic metal okay so the surface of the cd so you are seeing isn't it if you are seeing the cd means it's just like a glitter like a gold or silver or it will show like a bibdi or colors rainbow colors isn't it so how you have seen that different colors mean a thin layer of aluminium okay so what are the things they have applied a thin layer of aluminium or gold is supplied on the surface of the cd so only the cd is glittering just like a with your colors okay what are things they are applied on the surface of the cd a thin layer of gold or aluminium is applied on the surface of the cd okay so 
so if you are writing the data in the cd so you can see just like a circle if you are uh, seeing the just uh, by the passing the sunlight uh, through that cd means you can able to see how much space the free spaces will be there or how much space you have written the data okay so the cd is represented by a tiny indention so the data it will be written as a very very small points or small indention that is known as what pits very very important one mark question third point cd data is represented as a very very tiny indention is called what pits okay so you might have seen how they have uh, placed or kept the cd in that uh, how they have mounted the cd so just like a spiral track okay so the cd is just like a uh, placed on a spiral track okay so and the above which layer is there polycarbonate layer okay so see that uh, down i have shown on the picture no see have you seen that small small that uh, pulse like uh, structures there they are shown pits and lands the lower point we can call as a pits and the higher point we can call as a what lands so the area between the pits is called as what lands that also important one more question the area between pits is called what lands okay so how it will work how the cd will work okay so once you have fixed the cd inside maybe in the laptop or computer or cd drive or anything okay so the motor <coughs> so you have seen that uh, around uh, at the corner you have seen the round structure isn't it so you need to fix the round corner in the cd drive so the motor will rotate when the motor is rotated the cd what are things you are copying in the cd is start to play isn't it okay so what's the capacity of ordinary cd rom in 700 me okay what's the capacity of ordinary cd rom 700 me okay so once more you recall the points a cd is made up of how much thickness 1.2 mm thickness and it's made up of what polycarbonate plastic material okay so so the cd and the above part of the cd or <clears throat> the top layer of cd what they have applied a aluminium or gold is applied on the surface okay so in the cd or storing the data the data is represented as a small tiny points is called what pits so the cd is enclosed in what spiral track okay top what the thing is there polycarbonate layer so the higher points and lower points is there high points we can call this lands and the low points called as pits so the area between the pits is called as what dash lands okay so the motor within this so once you have fixed the cd in the cd drive or anything so the center portion is portion is fixed to the motor when the motor rotates the disc what are things you are copying in the disc will play okay the last point is very very important one more question so what's the ordinary capacity of cd ram so what's the ordinary capacity of cd ram 700 mb understood so next one is digital versatile disc dvd so by seeing uh, looking our thing cd and dvd means uh, by looking the external appearance almost it becomes same okay so what's the full form of dvd digital versatile disc okay or digital video disc we can say two points okay so to explain what are the digital versatile disc or digital video disc okay so what's the storing capacity of the dvd mean 4.7 gb okay so what's the storing capacity in cd how studied only some 1.7 isn't it but in dvd you can able to say how much time 4.7 gb of data so compared to cd six times higher than cd you can able to store the data in dvd understand so in cds you only you can able to store 1.7 gb by comparing to cd dvds you can able to store six times more than cd okay so how the data are read in cd as well as dvd so using the laser so using the laser beam only the data are read in the cd as well as dvd okay so similar to the cd dvd also has how many types two sides okay so similar to the cd dvd also has how many sides two sides okay or two layers we can say two sides or two layers per side okay so this number of layers or the number of sides only determine how much data it can hold 
Understood? So, how much layers or how much sides only can able to say by seeing that only can say how much they can, the particular DVD can hold. Okay. So, normally how we can identify it's a double layer or single layer means listen. Double layered sides that is double layered DVDs always looks as a gold color. Okay. So, double layered DVDs always looks like which color? Gold color. But single side always looks like which which color? Silver color just like a CD. How you will identify it's a single side or the single layer or double layer? So, single layer always so looks like silver color just like a CD but double layer looks like a gold color. Okay, difference from the CD. So, what are the points you have studied in DVD? So, DVD is a, what's the full form? Digital, versatile, disc or digital, video, disc. Okay, so what's the storage capacity of DVD? 4.7 GB. So, compared to CD, its storage capacity is very, very higher. That is six times higher than CD. Okay, so like a CD and DVD, this data also read by using which line? Laser beam. So, DVD also discusses also how many times sides, two sides or two layers. So, based on the how many layers are there, based on that only, you can able to identify how much capacity particular DVD can hold. If double layer, how you can identify it's double layer or single layer? Double layer means it's look with gold color. Single layer means it's look with which color? Silver color. Understood? So, I think today it's enough. Okay, so what are things you have studied today? Just recall, secondary storage device. What are the secondary storage device you have studied? CD, DVD and hard disk. Isn't it? So, so three headings also. So, daily I am taking only some portions only. So, please note it down. These three things also today's homework is you need to note it down. What do you mean by that? The three, three points you write. That's enough. Three or maximum four points. Okay, so write the heading as hard disk, write three points. Diagram and all, no need to draw. For your understanding only, I'll give that, uh, I'll show the diagram there. So, DVD also three or four points, CD also three or four points. Okay, students, so remain in the next class. Thank you, students. Take care.